Hey YouTube, Sean from Top 5 Fit. Uh, wanted to go over some potential mistakes to avoid stepping into the gym. Uh, it's swimsuit season. Today it reached 94 degrees, so there's going to be a lot less clothing on people, which means there's a lot more motivation to hit the gym. So for those of you who may be just getting started, I'd like to go over five things to avoid when stepping into the gym for the first time. Maybe in a long time, maybe first time ever. But these are some things you want to pay attention to when you're getting into that environment, you know, and you haven't been there for a while, like I said, or if you haven't been there at all. Number one, overusing cardio equipment and underusing the weights. Now, for whatever reason in this country, Cardio is attached to fat loss in a lot of people's heads. They think just burn, 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 burn. Get on the hamster wheel, you get that immediate gratification of calories burned in X amount of time, and then next thing you know, you are, well, I burned a thousand calories today, that means I can eat a thousand calories worth of crap. Doesn't quite work that way. You're not exactly going to do anything but make a smaller version of you by grinding away at cardio all the time and not doing anything as far as the weights are concerned. And there are too many times when I walk into my own train, training facility and I see at the beginning of the hour, hour and a half, however long I may be there, individuals on the ellipticals, on the treadmills, on the stairmasters. When I start and when I leave, they're still there. They haven't touched any equipment, they haven't touched any free weights, they just grind away at that cardio. And, you know, not acting like I'm stage ready myself, but they're not exactly getting the goals they want. They're not making the body changes that they want to see. So make sure you don't just walk through the door and hop on the first shiny piece of a cardio equipment that's right there, because you're really not doing yourself any favors by avoiding the weights, okay? Number two, poor form. So many times I see rounded backs on the deadlift or the dreaded bouncy hounce bench press, you know, where they're just banging the bar off of their chest and there's really no muscular contraction at all. It's just a momentum-based move. So pay attention to what you're actually doing when you're going through these different exercises. If the bar is supposed to come right across chest line, pause for a second and then squeeze the pecs and the triceps to extend the bar back over the head on your bench, do so. Try not to make it a bouncing activity. Keep your back flat when you're doing your deadlifts. Keep your chest down if you're doing bent over rows. All those little tips aren't just there to sound cool. They're there so that you can I guess get as much as you can out of the exercise and create the body that you want. So try to remember your form when you're actually in the gym. These things are there for safety so that you don't hurt yourself as well as to make sure that you're actually getting everything you can out of the exercise. Okay? Number three, keep it moving. Now, unfortunately over the years there has been a movement of social network creeping its way into the gym. There are more faces staring at their phones, there are more selfies being taken, there are more phone calls to be had and texts to be sent. Now that's all fine and dandy, but if you're talking about a small window of time that you have allowed yourself in a given day to get your workout in, and then you're answering texts every, you know, two minutes, three minutes because you're that popular and people are sending you that you know, that, those texts every couple of seconds, or your phone's ringing off the hook. These are distractions. Those distractions ultimately stop you from training. Your heart rate's not up, you haven't moved any resistance whatsoever, and nine times out of ten you're just taking up space in the gym, which is kind of not a good thing to do. So keep it moving. Make sure that you're, you know, there's following the rules of 30 seconds to 60 seconds in between each set moving along, having something to actually follow, and getting through it. Be leery of your tech devices, be leery of your phones, try not to get wrapped up into whatever game may be on your phone when you're supposed to be actually moving on to the next exercise in your workout. So keep it moving. Try to make sure that you're productive while you're in the gym, okay? Number four, not having a program. So many times people step into the gym, and I think one of the reasons that they just gravitate towards the cardio equipment is they don't necessarily have a program to follow. They aren't really 
they know they need to work out, but they don't really know what to do. So they just kind of either do what they think is popular or what they've seen online or maybe they've seen something in a muscle and fitness magazine. You know, it, it really doesn't matter where it came from. It's just they don't really know what they want to do. So make sure you have a program. You want to be, avoid being one of those guys or one of those women that go in and you're doing biceps for an hour and a half. You know, it's and unless you're trying to get on stage and you're focusing on your biceps, that's not going to be an effective workout. So try to make sure that you actually have some outline, some framework that you that, that's getting you closer to your goals. And the whole point of training is to be progressive in nature. So make sure you've got something to follow. Okay? Number five, last but not least, don't follow the herd. This is a favorite. There are a lot of popular exercises out there. You know, the, the kettlebell movement came through and changed everybody's world, and now every gym in America has kettlebells sitting by the mirrors. Here's the problem. Not all kettlebell exercises are going to be effective for your goals. So you want to do your research on what you're actually doing and why you're doing it. Just because the person next to you may be doing a you know single arm kettlebell swing through and they're flipping the kettlebell at the top, you know, adding a release move for flare, doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be beneficial for you. So don't just do what everybody else around you is doing. You want to make sure that you're following a program and ultimately doing things that are moving you towards your goals. So keep that in mind when you step in there. Other than that, I said it's 94 degrees out, so I'm going to turn the sprinkler on and let the kids jump around in the water and try and cool some people off. You guys have a great day. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the box below. Don't forget to hit subscribe because there's going to be more videos. Thanks again. Enjoy the day.